Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn CSS grid. How to prepare grid and how to control grid layouts you are going to learn here. Let's begin the code. Let's see, for this lecture, I'm taking a simple div inside div elements. So div inside another div elements we are going to control in here. So by applying, I'm sorry, uh, for this, yes, div elements, we need to write. For this uh, head, like uh, the layout, I'm taking like a header, that is on a header controller, yeah, header portion, and now I'm taking like a menu, yeah, menu section. And uh, one more thing like uh, uh, we, we may say that like a uh, content area dashboards we display no content dashboard content or dashboard area we may say that and uh, right portion and uh, footer section footer section so these parts I am taking from this grid how we are making independently we are going to applying these things we'll see so let's see in output by running header menu content dashboard right and footer section we have taken so simply i have a written now how the grid layout i'm going to making independent how i am taking simple way let's see one by one so defining these things inside a style which is a like a, a independent sections i'm taking so box one i may call it as like a grid area i'm fixing it's a header all right so same taking a copy of code yeah box 2 I'm defining as uh, like a menu all right so the next one I'm treating as third one uh, which is a what is the third one we have taken here content area so we may take a content yeah main or content you may put your wish so the next one is uh, the number four for right r i g h t yeah right and the last one the final and the last one the box five i'm taking and it's a footer yeah things are defined very clearly things are defined very clearly independent classes so now what we need to do now all the independent things are taken successfully so these classes box 1 2 5 I'm going to applying for class div 1 so sorry it's a box 1 we have taken box 1 so from here to here I'm taking a copy paste two paste three paste four paste five okay so all the things i have taken successfully perfect now let's see what i am trying to do let's very simply i'm going to applying more styles now so grid container what should it follows grid i1 i'm taking container so here grid i1 c o n t a i n e r container so the display display grid all right and grid template areas grid template areas here we may fix independent area wise the things 
all right so the header we may put header and uh, footer we may put and uh, menu main right these things we may put simply so let's see how the things are going to be inserting in adding here yeah by hitting oh sorry by hitting and enter by hitting and enter I'm taking single quotes this header and uh, I'm going to writing like uh, one more here it is an a menu and uh, one more thing I'm taking it is an a menu like a uh, footer one by one all the things we are going to writing here so the menu and footer I have taken here all right now let's save it and the gap there is a gap I'm taking for these things like uh, how much gap will take around 10 px and uh, background color I'm applying here it is like any color you may apply like uh, f1 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 only I'm taking and uh, padding I'm taking as 10 px I'm taking as a padding now you may see now just we'll check the output how it is going to be applying yeah so this grid container we didn't apply it anywhere so let's see what we need to do uh, taking the grid container here we need to write class grid container save it reload it wow these things are aligned in this way so overlapping these things are happening yes it's good now we are going to applying the things one by one in a common way and we will be known more detailed so let's see this grid container i am going to applying with the div in a second later section so going to write div within a block uh, some other background color for for a particular div or g or g b a function i'm applying with different elements so the position of 255 255 255 and uh, something 0 0.8 I am giving the opacity of the colors reload yeah where the color is impacting those area is going to be making a different color for this grid all right now the text is going to be text alignment is going to be center and uh, padding is required around like a 20 px with a zero of alignment and the font size we, we check it like a font size yes this value around like a 20 or 20 30 whatever it you require you may choose yourself let's reload wow these things are happening now yes now the alignment is getting something is typical so let's see the grid alignment of areas header and uh, here header header three things are happen and more three things also is required for header only all right this area is going to be covered with header only so i'm adding this way this header section yeah i'll write from here so let's see by saving this 
reload wow header thing is completing overlapping so let me adjust uh, the grid uh, areas so the next one to be like uh, menu and uh, second portion is covering like a main like uh, we have taken this main as uh, content so here it is content and uh, second portion is also content third one is also content and next one we take right menu right menu or right box whatever it you like you may put there the area and uh, left side menu and the rest of the places we may put like a footer only for the rest of the places uh, how many five five blocks two three four five yes save the template layout area the positions the positions how we are making into multiplies so save this and reload the page wow so header something we have uh, missed anywhere so header is uh, coming here directly let me check the code header why it is here <laughs> yeah h e a d e r h e a oh sorry h e a d e r header spelling something wrongly we have given that so h e a d e r all right uh, header yeah perfect save this reload the page wow awesomely we are getting a perfect layout so this is a perfect layout you may observe here so you may apply the background color of overall like header place is there menu content or dashboard area and right right menu if you need and footer from if the menu is expanding automatically it will be reduced so footer will be started from here so awesomely we have prepared a grid boxes independent grid boxes and we have a created a header menu content area and a right portion and footer so how simply we are created these things and grid container which grid area portions are to be captured and occupied with the given classes we have written here so the menu content areas right portions if you want to make more customization you just place the particular uh, areas like this grid area we are taking no so these areas you may change your name how you need to customize and make the things you can make it according to the gap background colors paddings yes you may take and you may apply your paddings any border colors you want yes you can apply so ultimately how the things to be prepared for yourself to creating more grid boxes or the layout it's a very important to making a simple customization of the grid creation is very simple in css that's what i want to explain you so by taking apply of uh, more provisions are also available in css with the properties with the values multiple values you may apply over here so try yourself i wish you good luck to prepare more css examples and exercises to get in a master in css as a professional i wish you good luck catch you in next lecture thank you